Hello friends, welcome to the world of chemistry. This is Dr. Vikram Panchal and I'm dealing with spectroscopy for chemistry for IR lecture and this is lecture number 30. In this also I will explain you some factors affecting vibrational frequency of IR bands. And now we will discuss one very important uh, in, uh, factor and that is hydrogen bonding. There are two types of hydrogen bonds. So first of all, we'll take intermolecular hydrogen bonds. Intermolecular hydrogen bond is appear when two different molecules come closer. So intermolecular Hydrogen bonding involves association of two or more molecules of the same kind or different compounds. Here IR absorption frequencies of both stretching as well as bending vibrations are altered because of hydrogen bonding. Intermolecular bonding may result in dimer molecules which exist in concentrated solution. For example, acid that is C double O H group in which oxygens are negatively charged and hydrogen attached to oxygen is positively charged. So, in the same medium, when two molecules come closer like this, then this positive hydrogen of all these will attract negative oxygen and form hydrogen bond. And these two hydrogen bonds are very strong and therefore they behave like single molecule and we call them dimer. But this will be in concentrated solution. So now in this case, if we observe frequency of C double bond O in case of monomeric compound, it will be 1768 centimeter inverse. But here in case of dimer, this will change to 1760 centimeter inverse. Similarly, OH stretching frequency, which will be 3527 centimeter inverse, 
while in case of dimer it will be a broad spectrum of th at 7 5 uh, sorry 3573 3 centimeter inverse for C single bond O stretching frequency here it will be at 1380 centimeter inverse and in case of dimer it is 1465 centimeter inverse so this way you will find certain changes in their uh, frequencies because of the presence of the hydrogen bond okay now we'll see solvent effect on hydrogen bond on intermolecular hydrogen bonding suppose we take phenol phenol has intermolecular hydrogen bond in 10 10% uh, phenol in carbon tetrachloride then oh frequency will be from 3500 to 3450 centimeter inverse it will be a broad band and that is due to hydrogen bonding but if we take 0.25 percent solution in carbon tetrachloride this will be very dilute solution so it is called dilution then we will observe OH stretch in uh, band at 3500 centimeter inverse and it will be a sharp band not broad band so here you will find the influence of solvent or dilution or concentration on intermolecular hydrogen bonding the next is second that is intramolecular hydrogen bonding intramolecular hydrogen bond is formed when the proton donor and acceptor are present in a single molecule. Let us take this example of salicylic acid in which OH group is at ortho position from C double OH and therefore we will see intramolecular hydrogen bond. So this is salicylic acid. Similarly, if you take ortho substituted phenols like orthochlorophenol there also you will find intramolecular hydrogen bond even ortho nitrophenol shows this type of bonding So, these are examples showing or, or, uh, intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Okay. So, here you can see a ring formation takes place because of hydrogen bond. So, ring formation 
takes place due to intramolecular hydrogen bonding. And it is observed that when six member ring is formed, then hydrogen bonding is much stronger. So, this is what intramolecular hydrogen bonding is. Now we'll see what is the effect of on <coughs> IR spectra. The intramolecular hydrogen bonding can reduce C double bond O stretching. Why? Because it increases bond length. Okay, so for example, if we take salicylic acid, which is having intramolecular hydrogen bonding, C double bond O appear at 1665 centimeter inverse. While in case of para-hydroxybenzoic acid, where there is no intramolecular hydrogen bonding, then C double bond O stretching will appear at 1685 centimeter inverse. Okay, so this is the effect of intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Now, intramolecular hydrogen bonding. is an internal effect that is the effect within molecule and persists at very low concentration so there is no effect on dilution. So intramolecular hydrogen bonding has no effect on dilution because it is within the molecule. Okay, so that is the case. Now, we will see the difference between intramolecular and intermolecular hydrogen bonding okay so first we'll take intramolecular hydrogen bonding this is in sorry intermolecular hydrogen bonding and here we have intramolecular hydrogen bonding. The first difference is it gives broad IR band. In case of intramolecular hydrogen bonding, it gives sharp and well defined. IR band. Second, it has effect of dilution. Here, no effect of dilution. Third, here you will find frequency differences because of hydrogen bonding. Here, no frequency.